Okay, here we have another wonderful new product from longbeachmusic.com, and it is the Grand Staff treble and bass um, on a uh, plastic, heavy-duty quality, um, which can be used also then with a dry erase marker. And so you can write things on here um, for notation, for quizzing students. The students, of course, can come up and draw. Good. Okay. So, I can write my own symbols, my own notation, right onto the um, plastic surface and then erase it. So, if I wanted to put a sharp up here for my key signature, I could draw the sharp on the top line. I could do the same thing on the bass clef to match the treble. And if, of course, if I wanted to change that, then I just erase it just as easily as I wrote it on the um, staff. I can put different notes wherever I want them. If I wanted to put half notes, I would just draw those right in. Quarter notes as well. Any kind of rests, it's totally up to the teacher or the students. You could use it as a demonstration for indicating symbols to the students. You could use it as sight reading practice to have the students sing or play something you notated on the staff, or you could also have the students come up with their markers and say, I would like you to create a short melody, we're going to do it in the key of C in 4-4. Four, four. And with some very basic guidelines, you could have them create their own notes, their own piece, and it's a great assessment for you as well to see if they know um, to where to put things correctly, drawing the notes correctly. Uh, the placement, anything that you would want to test your students on. This would be a great way of doing it. And again, if you want to reuse it again, then it's a simple matter of just erasing what you put there and starting over. So, after repeated uses, if for some reason as you erase your notes, if there's a little bit of residue that is left there, um, then you may need to get some of this spray uh, board cleaner. Same thing that you would use on a whiteboard, and this would take away any little smudges or any extra residue from your marker. And it becomes like new again, shiny and fresh. In addition to showing melodic notation. You can also show harmony as well and you can indicate different chords. Um, for example, if you wanted to indicate a C major triad, you could put the notes just one on top of the other, like that. Um, if you wanted to change to a different chord, you would again just draw it on the staff. So, anything that you can do on traditional staff paper, manuscript paper, you can do the same thing with the dry erase grand staff. The advantage is that you don't have to uh, tear it up or get a new piece of paper. You just erase and you can start over again. You could have uh, several students working on the staff at the same time. You could have a tall, taller student working on the treble clef, creating a melody and you could have another student um, doing harmony. Or you could have uh, four different students and say, okay, I want you to create measure one and then call up another student to create uh, measure two as it would uh, continue from measure one. So, um, there are obviously four measures notated here and we know that the four measure phrase is a standard a standard way of organizing music. And so that's why we chose to use four measures in a line. In using the dry erase staff to assess students, you could give them certain parameters and you could say, okay, we're going to be in the key of G, so you could establish that yourself. You could say we're going to be in 3-4 meter and you could set that up and then say, from the 3-4 meter in the key of G, I would want you to create two measures. And you could say, I want you to start on G, 
and I want you to end on G. And then you can leave the rest up to them to create what they wanted to to complete the two beats of this measure and also the two beats of the next measure. And then you could do the same thing in the bass clef as well. You could give them certain notes or you could, again, just leave it blank. But you, it's, I think it's best and most helpful to give the student a little bit of help in um, giving them some of the notes and then having them fill in the rest. You could even do it um, just leaving one beat out. You could say, okay, I'm giving you two beats in this measure. I'm giving you a half note. What could you put on the third beat to complete that measure? What would make sense? Um, here you could say, okay, I'm giving you a quarter note. I'm give you another quarter note. Now again, what else could you do to complete that measure? So there's any number of helps that you can give the students, especially when they're not ready to create their own piece from scratch. You could have them fill in the missing notes. So this very versatile grand staff dry erase um, is also available to be used as with the note symbols, which can become a game for the students, um, we have the prepackaged note symbols, which can be um, as an alternative use for the same staff. So it has multiple purposes, both as a dry erase or adding your symbols. You would, of course, lay it down flat so you could put the notes on and move them around. So all of these products then, the Dry Erase staff and the packet of music symbols are all available from longbeachmusic.com and there is no shipping and handling. And so go ahead and, and order yours now and it can be sent to you uh, immediately. They're in stock now and enjoy with um, your teaching of music notation.